Hello YouTube, welcome to another video um, for the Golang uh, series. So in this video we're going to see how to create uh, different ways or how to um, create variables in different ways. So I'm going to go ahead and create the variables variables file. Uh, this file will also belong to the package.main uh, package. And here we're going to create function uh, run var variable logic. So just a function, and you'll see how um, we can execute this in our main.go. Anyway, so there's actually um, two different ways of creating and using variables in Golang. Um, well, actually, there's there's three so let's go ahead and see those so in golang you can create global variables as as you can do in uh, many other languages so i can go ahead and create var let's say my name and i can specify that this is of type string and i can put my name arturo uh, i gotta go out of insert mode there you go now i can also create uh, var age and I can make this an int32. I can just specify an int. Uh, int 8 is enough for this variable. I'm actually 30. Um, so there you go. You can also create a variable like that. And um, th there's also various ways of declaring var. For example, I can say uh, let me see if I can do this var name Arturo okay first let's, let's write first first name last name so we can also create variables like that uh, we can also create constants uh, which actually I'm gonna make this a constant because my first name and last name is not subject to change so I'm actually going to uppercase those. Um, I can also, um, well, I have this const here, but I can, you know, variable. Uh, let's say, I don't know, current uh, project stack. I can put Golang, uh, Postgres, React, etc. It, it, it really doesn't matter if we're making this accurate. Probably uh, an array would be a little bit more useful using this, but I'm, I haven't gotten there, so I really don't want, don't want to get into arrays yet. Um, so I'll leave it like that. And let's say that I want to put, I don't know, uh, let's say that I have my current laptop, which is a macbook and then here here in run variable i can go ahead and do fp let's say that i want to print my first name so my first name is and i just put first name then also don't forget to import the format uh, module i can also put my my current laptop is and then here I put current laptop and just notice how this variable because they're subject to change but these are constant because they're not subject to change um, so once that I have this function just so you know uh, we're not going to get into functions yet but uh, just know that because they're within the same um, module or sorry same package actually I can go ahead and say uh, Var run variable logic and it already knows that this is from the other file you can do the following and it'll build the the binary execute it, and then delete it so that's the only difference rather than just doing go run main.go uh, and that that is when you use multiple files uh, within the same um, package now there's one more type of variable that uh, I'm missing here and I'm going to put my 
favorite soccer team, um, which is Manchester United. So this is another way of declaring a variable, but you can only do this within a function. So right now we don't even have to put the type because um, whenever you use this type of variable, you cannot just declare it. If you just declare it, then you just use the var, put my team and put the type, and then later you can assign uh, my team equals Manchester United. But here, um, you see how this is declared, uh, but not used. So even though it's been assigned, um, it's still not in use. So if I do a format print, so FP, and I'm gonna put here my team. Now the compiler doesn't complain. Anyway, uh, just so you know, whenever you see this declared but not used, even though there's no errors, and you try to run uh, the compile and execute, it'll give you an error because it's saying that um, this variable specifically is not in use. So if it's not in use, you might as well just delete it. Uh, just something uh, for you guys to know. Anyway, uh, so we have here declaration and uh, assignment. And here we have both at the same time. So uh, the compiler knows that this is of type string, which is why we don't need to put the type. I don't know if you can see here, but here we have the two dots and the equal sign. And then here we just have the equal sign. So this walrus operator signifies that it's the first uh, declaration and assignment. Later, we're just reassigning the value, but it's not the initial um, declaration, which is why this becomes useful. It's very easy to visualize. And uh, probably if you've used Python, you, you have encountered this problem where you don't know if it's a uh, a reassignment or an, an initialization of the variable. So that's the reason of this walrus operator. So with that, I'm gonna stop the video here and uh, next video, we're gonna be talking about primitives. So if you like this video, give it, um, give it a like, subscribe and see you next time.